So I'm here on uh, Joshua Rockwood's West Wind Acres Farm with Ken Norman, my friend, our farrier, and a supporter of, of, uh, of Joshua. And Ken, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions. We never, we've talked about it, but we never actually specifically talked about it. what got you involved in Joshua's case. Well, I don't know. Just kind of tough. I don't really know. Uh, I kind of kind of got into it because what was done to Joshua last spring in the coldest winter in 100 years was wrong. Um, he, he just got caught, you know, caught bad. They should have let him, you know, the animals were all in good shape. And it was ridiculous recharges. So you've been a farrier for years, what, 15, 20 years? 23. And you also uh, do a lot of horse rescue. Rescue a few, yes. And you saw the pictures of the horses they took off of Joshua. The horses were actually in great, great shape, as far as I could tell from the videos. I haven't seen them in person. The pony's feet were probably a little long, but nothing worse. I mean, if someone had called me to come out and trim in the middle of February, I'd have tell them to wait till the weather was warmer. And, and it wasn't hurting the pony any? Or, or were there maybe? I don't know. Uh, again, I never saw the pony in person. But and when you see a horse that needs rescuing, what are you looking for? Skinny, uh, skinny, thin, abused, maybe sores. No feed available. So, in your travels, if you ran into a farmer who had a frozen water tanks in minus twenty degree weather, what would you do? I'd probably go and knock on the door and ask them if they knew were aware of the problem. And uh, most people if had that. Most people that have animals w would want to fix whatever's wrong. Right. And the uh, and you have brought out a bunch of, of tires for for Joshua too. Yeah, the local quarry next to me in West Pollitt, Vermont, that has these loader tires um, that are just cast aside when they're when they're punctured or worn out thin and I asked if he could, if I could have have them and they gave them to me and I collected them over the last couple of months and this today I loaded up five on the trailer we brought them down here they're about five foot tall probably weigh 800 pounds a piece the rubber is a couple inches thick so they'd make good good tanks good water tanks so you've been out here you're on Joshua's farm you've looked around you've seen the animals and do you see anything that troubles you about the way he cares for them not at all right i mean to me you know i have i'm not really a farmer but you've been out to my farm a lot of times that could have been any one of us could have been any one of us last winter and that's pretty much probably why you're helping them all right for sure well thank you very much i appreciate it I can hear it from from the horse's mouth as he's <laughs> <laughs>